Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review, and here we're going to build Ursa Major, so let's grab these pieces. We'll start with the torso. So, oops, my stuff falling down, hang on, let me move some of this. Alright, so we get the, this back piece here, with some pegs in there. We have the actual torso here with the leg pieces, and then we get this little back fur piece. This torso piece came with Dark Star, so let's start with putting this together here. So here's the back piece. You kind of want to try to line them up perfectly here. Just have it pop in. And then grab this fur piece for his back and just plug him in like this. Wrong. That's why. Boom. I think it's in there. Yep. There you go. So yeah, there's that. And then let's grab his right arm here, which is from uh, Ultron. And you just want to pop that in there just like that it was not a pop so hopefully he's in there pretty good and then we'll grab his other arm from the hologram iron man pop that bad boy in there boom and then we'll grab his left leg from stealth iron man all right got that one in so i may have to do some off camera work again here this one came comes from volt guardsman um the right leg all right and then, so here is the face here. This comes from Iron um, Iron Heart. Just plug that into there, and then boom, there is Ursa Major for you. So first off, we'll start with the face here. So yeah, you get that nice big bear look here with some brown fur with some dark black wash. You get some darker washes near the eyes. You get some plain old white eyes. You get a bit of a yellowish white uh, teeth here. You get to see his gums, tongue, the roof of his mouth in there, his fangs, you get the black nose, you get the nice teddy bear ears, and then you get this like little black, I meant not black, back fur piece here for him, um, which is just completely brown. I don't see any black wash for this part. And then here is the rest of his body. So yeah, you get this arm here, you get some darker brown wash over this part, so you can tell that's a Ice up there, and then you get the form here, not a lot of darker wash here, and then you get the hands with these nice sharp claws, which are pretty cool with that darker brown, yellow bell wash in there, kind of looks like actual bear claws, so that's pretty cool. And then you get the torso here, so you get that nice big chest there with some dark wash near the creases, and then for the abs too. Here's the leg, so you can see all the muscles in there too, even with the fur in there. They kind of just did more dark wash around the muscles there. And here's the feet with those nice five claws there. You get to see the paws actually, which is pretty cool what they did there. A lot of detail into this. Here's the back here with the showing off his butt. <laughs> and you get the uh, shoulder blades here for him. But yeah, that's really it for the look. So let's go over the articulation. So he has a disc ball joint head. I think that's a disc. Or maybe it's a double ball. I don't even remember. I think it's a double ball now. So his head can only move down that far. The jaw kind of hits the chest there. He can look up that far. He can look left and right. A uh, little head pivoting there. Shoulders. Ooh, popped it out. Shoulders can move past 90 degrees there, though. 360 rotation around there for a guy that gets in the way, so it pops out of place there. Bicep swivel, single jointed elbows. This one's kind of loose. Um, and then you can also pivot that as you wish. Wrist can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation around there. That's pretty loose too. Uh, and then he has a diaphragm joint, so you can go forward just that far, backwards that far. But if you do that, it kind of looks a little weird. And if you push it back, you'd see the actual joint in there. You can move side to side. Uh, you don't want to do too much with the mat because you don't want the storm shadow situation to add. Legs can kick out that far. Clicky uh, thighs there kick out that far. Forward, not much thigh cut. Single jointed knees there. Ankles can down that far. Up that far, nice ankle pivot.
and here he is next to modular iron man so yeah i do recommend you get him uh he's pretty cool um or you in order to get him you have to kind of finish up the wave unless someone's selling them for just him himself for sale on ebay or something like that or you can just buy the pieces for a little bit of a cheaper price if you don't want one of these fingers um but yeah um i think the detail on this figure is pretty cool articulation is pretty decent um it's like any other big buffy uh build a figure um single joints and elbows and knees were kind of a given for this one um but yeah uh, i i honestly like this figure um he was in his human form was in black widow and he was the first mutant in there and he is part of the winter guard so i hope they do do a winter guard like wave that'd be pretty cool um but yeah i love this figure a lot um not much to really say about it um but yeah that's all i got for this figure um uh, so make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description it has my twitch um tiktok twitter uh paypal if you want to help out my channel and stuff um and that's all i got so thanks for watching